Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about Galactic Merger and we're going to actually discuss a discovery made in December of 2017 where two galaxies merged with each other but they kind of redefined our understanding of galactic creation. So let's talk a little bit more about this and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So Galactic Merger in Universe Sandbox looks absolutely incredible, especially if you have VR, you can actually check this out because it, it just blows your mind. This is such a beautiful event. Now, I'm going to actually demonstrate a few more simulations and one of them is made by NASA that looks really, really, really cool. And I really wanted to show it to you because it's something that you don't see very often. And the event that you see right here is essentially the formation of large galaxies similar to the Milky Way. So what you're observing is a simulation of smaller galaxies and I guess some big galaxies uh, kind of interacting and absorbing each other's mass and essentially creating a bigger and larger galaxy that will eventually become spiral similar to the Milky Way. Now this is a simulation by NASA and you can actually find it in the link in the description below but you kind of see that it looks pretty cool, it looks really awesome, everything is spinning really fast, and it shows us um, that galaxies seem to uh, be created from smaller, less massive galaxies, and basically merge into large uh, things that look like our Milky Way. That's kind of what we think happens. But then something else occurred in 2017. We actually saw this right here. This, this was taken by a telescope in, um, in Antarctica. And this is a picture of two very massive galaxies, one here and another one here, merging together. But on top of that, they're actually inside a very, 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 very large dark matter halo, the size of which we haven't really seen before. So there's two problems here. One is, of course, the dark matter, but that's another story because we've, we don't really know why so much dark matter is present in this location. But the other one is the two galaxies themselves. First of all, this is like observing two very large Milky Way and Andromeda-like galaxies colliding early on in the creation of the universe, maybe about 700 million years after the universe was created. We didn't really think that these galaxies existed back then. We actually were under the impression that only smaller galaxies similar to the ones you see here, uh, were around. So the, we, we didn't think that such massive galaxies even existed. So that's kind of already a redefinition of our understanding because that means that uh, early on in the creation of the universe, there already were these really massive galaxies that collided with each other, interacted with other galaxies and absorbed them. And then basically, became more and more massive. So this is what is going to happen here. We're going to have a very large and massive super galaxy. Now, the other interesting fact is that, well, first of all, this would explain why we actually did find some tremendously huge and massive galaxies out there that just defy explanation. Like for example, the biggest uh, galaxy in our universe that we've discovered so far, known as IC1101, about which I've talked about maybe about a year ago, um, is so massive and so large that it's just, there's no explanation for how it was formed. And so having found these two merging galaxies, we can now kind of possibly predict or understand at least um, what actually possibly happened. So maybe this is the beginning of that supermassive galaxy IC1101, because now that it's actually more massive than other galaxies around it, it will be able to absorb more and more mass, grow exponentially, and become tremendously big. But unfortunately, in this simulation that we started just now, uh, things don't look as good for the supermassive galaxy that we wanted to create. It doesn't look as supermassive or as big as I, as I hoped it would. But I guess if you actually put more and more galaxies here, which we can do right now, to basically try to simulate the situation. Oh, and unfortunately, as you can see, it suddenly slowed down because I have so much dark matter everywhere. So let's try this again. Let's remove the dark matter and try to run this at any kind of speed. And you'll see that um, even in this particular simulation, it's very unlikely that we're going to create a large supermassive um, spiral galaxy. It's going to be really hard. I, I run so many simulations where I try to combine galaxies together. And I think maybe in one out of a hundred, there was something that resembled a spiral galaxy. So they're kind of hard to create. 
And so we're going to wait a little bit and see what happens here, but chances are we're not going to create anything as spectacular as you saw before. But uh, before I actually go on, I wanted to tell you about the paper where I found all of this. And this is also in the description below. This is the paper uh, known as Galaxy Growth and Massive Halo in the First Billion Years of Cosmic History. Uh, the paper is actually kind of interesting to read, so if you are into this kind of stuff, check it out. Uh, the link is in the description below. And the NASA simulation is from the Goddard uh, Media Studios, um, which basically has a lot of really, really awesome videos that simulate various galactic formations and uh, galactic collisions. And there's quite a lot of them you can check out. Uh, there's also some other really awesome videos on this site, but these are the ones that apply to this topic right now. But anyway, so going back to our uh, formation of galaxies, as you can see, nothing really changed here. And it's probably going to kind of be in this form for a very long time and I, I believe these other galaxies are actually moving away now because there's nothing holding them together these ones are also floating apart so our supermassive galaxy creation didn't really succeed yet again I mean it is supermassive and it is kind of blobby looking I guess in this case you would call it an elliptical galaxy or oh, not yet but it doesn't look as I wanted it to look it doesn't have the spirals now in comparison, the most supermassive galaxy we've discovered so far, I see 1101, is about this big in comparison, or actually even bigger. I believe it's at least 100 times bigger in size uh, to our own Milky Way. So it's a galaxy that is um, elliptical, it's, con it's made up of smaller galaxies, and it contains so much mass that it's just... It's unbelievable, it's hard to kind of describe. And just to show you an example, if you've never seen this galaxy before, this is kind of what it looks like compared to the other galaxies. And this is in the Space Engine, so you can see these tiny galaxies next, next to it kind of look tremendously tiny. So this is IC1101, and here right next to it, if we were to zoom into this particular galaxy, you'd see that it is tiny in comparison. So there is IC1101 in front of it. And I've actually talked about this giant and even recreated it in the Universe Unbox in one of the previous videos, so do check it out on the channel. So anyway, so that kind of uh, is the end of the video. I wanted to show you the new mystery of the formation of the galaxies. We still don't really get how exactly these giants form. We don't really get um, where and how most of the dark matter came from and how it influenced the formation of the galaxies. But most importantly, we just realized that this formation of galaxies that we thought was kind of the standard it doesn't seem to be the standard. It looks like there are galaxies out there that have been formed in some other ways, way, way faster than we expected them to form. And it looks like we need to redefine our understanding of the universe yet again. Well, anyway, this is what our super massive mass looks like now. Doesn't look like anything galactic, I guess. But there is a galaxy that contains about 10 uh, other galaxies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Let's finish this video by flying around in Space Engine around the IC1101 and discover some cool stars inside. See you tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.